Hello, hello, heathens. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another sketchy Saturday. Today's topic is going to be hopefully a quick one. It's going to be a light, breezy, little motivational video for today. No soapbox proselytizing, just a little tidbit that will hopefully spur you into trying something new and having a creative good time. Not overthinking, no analysis paralysis, just doing and enjoying yourself in the process. I mean, that is my purpose as a creative, isn't it? I'm here to delight, to entertain, dare I say, to inspire. That That is my purpose. I don't pretend to be any more or less important than that. I'm just here to do my thing and hopefully benefit you all in some way. So quickly before we begin, I will say a few words about what is happening in on screen, assuming that you are watching. If you are not, don't worry about it, but if you do come back to the video later, uh, what you are seeing is, of course, an illustration sketched in a sketchbook. You all know my world would be utterly incomplete without disco, fashion, and just a little touch, a little sprinkling of darkness. FYI, if you didn't know already, one of my favorite things in the world are black sequins. So there you go, dark sequins. I know we can get all into the depth of that, but surface level, it's black, it's dark, it's sparkly. I love it. So yeah, disco, fashion, a little bit of darkness, and that's what we have here, a sparkly, fetishy, slightly spooky disco girl, and she was illustrated in marker and gel pen. Links to all of the supplies will be down below as usual. Okay, so topic for today is to, it's my encouraging you, my demanding of you, shall we say, to try a new technique or art form that you have never tried before or something that maybe you dabbled in for a second or two and then realized that you were shit at it and then never wanted to try it again because you were too afraid of it. Do it again today. Do it without an excuse. I want you to look at your sketchbooks or blank canvases, coloring books or paper pads, whatever you have available, whatever it is that you use, and just try, reach for one of them. Grab a coloring book, grab a sketchbook, whatever. Grab it and try something new or again, something that you dabbled in previously. Yes, the prospect of imminent failure may be intimidating for some of you. So for those of you especially, I dedicate this message because if there's something that I I take immense pride in, although I'm not the best at it, I will say I'm, I'm working to get better at it, is I do possess a certain degree of uh, fearlessness when it comes to my life and to my artwork. It's um, I, I've, I've just never been a very timid individual and I'm, I'm trying to get better. It might come as a shock to some of you to say, whoa, Carla, you regularly are you know, flying off the walls and doing crazy shit all the time. What do you mean that you want to get better at it? Because truly I do have some hangups still to this day, but for the most part, I am fairly free when it comes to my creative processes. So again, this message is especially to those of you who watch me and who maybe in the back of your mind wish that you could be a little bit more free and a little bit less afraid because I know I've got some of you, I've got many of you out there and I love all of you. I love my crazy wild babies and I love my little timid ones as well. So just listen up, little wallflowers out there, listen up. Don't think too much about this little exercise. Don't plan and do not give yourself an excuse. Do not come at me with, oh, Carla, there's a certain paint that I want to try or a color or a paper, etc. I am so excited to experiment. Your video fired me up. I'm gassed up now, blah, blah, blah. But I need to go out and purchase the thing first. No, 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 no. That is an excuse and I have no patience or sympathy or understanding for excuse machines. We don't play that game here, none of that. Even if the only art making supplies that you have at your disposal are a pencil and a notebook, I guarantee that there is a technique or a style that you have never tried and have been wanting to. Don't reserve experimentation for the right moment, you know, the right moment that you pick up this particular paint or paper or whatever, no, stop. That defeats the purpose of this entire video. 
just do it. Even if it's just a piece of printer paper and a pencil. You probably have not tried every hatching or shading technique that exists, right? So try a new one today. Just try it. If you have been following my color and chats in recent months, you may have noticed that I have started jumping into an intentional evolution of my marker techniques. I have worked with markers for many, many, many years, and I have worked in flat color, I have worked in uh, traditional marker color blending. I've proved to myself that I could smoothly blend markers on paper that is not designed for markers, right? Because that's the big thing. People will always tell you, if you are working with watercolor, you have to use watercolor paper for optimal effects. If you are working with marker, you must use a marker paper for optimum effects. No, baby, you don't have to. You can, you certainly can, but perfection is boring. We all know that, right? Perfection is fine, but it, it's not exciting. It's not interesting. The technique of properly blending markers does not excite me. It looks good, sure, and it has its place, absolutely, and I will certainly continue to blend, quote unquote, appropriately in certain applications. However, from a personal style perspective, it simply, it, it just does not excite me. There's nothing, there's nothing more to say about it. My watercolor work, for example, is drippy and messy, and I have much more fun with my watercolor work than I do with marker work, although you see me doing more marker work than watercolor, right? At least that's been the case in the previous year or so. Um, I would like my marker work to take on a similar frenetic energy because I love markers. I love ink. If I had to choose between watercolor and ink, to be honest, I don't think I could choose a favorite. It would be a very difficult choice, but as such, I would like to come up with a way for markers to be more expressive because obviously watercolor is very loose and very drippy and it's very easy to create a piece of watercolor work that is expressive just by the very nature of the material. Water is liquid. It's going to do whatever it wants to do. Markers are much more self-contained just by the very nature of them being marker, right? It's you have that specific felt tip in a specific size and you have the marker that can only be juiced so much, it will not act like a watercolor. So you're a bit more restrained in, in marker. However, I believe in figuring out how to use supplies in unconventional ways. And that's what I'm trying to do with markers. I've played around with this idea in recent color and chats, so you've seen me do it. And on this particular day, I was flipping through my sketchbook and I was compelled to try this messy marker idea of mine on this new substrate. Are the results perfect? No. Did I achieve what I wanted? Not exactly. Am I itching to continue exploring this funky little technique of mine? Absolutely. And that, in essence, is the point of my entire message today. Simply, in three words, try something new or try something different. Because markers to me are not new, but it's a different approach, right? Do this even if, I mean, scratch that, especially if, you will be terrible at it. I guarantee you will learn something or enjoy yourself or better yet, both in the process. I have so much more respect for trying something and failing at it than to simply continuing down a path of tradition and doing something that you are established and good at, right? What's the point? You gotta add a little bit of spice to your life this extends beyond creatively, but we're focusing on creative pursuits today in this video. So that's it. It was just a quick little video and hopefully this inspires you without dulling you to bits, right? I'm trying to keep this video 10 to 15 minutes or so. Hopefully it will be enough to spur you into action. Go grab that sketchbook grab that coloring book, grab that blank canvas, whatever it is, grab that sheet of printer paper, I don't care, and try something different. Try something new. Take it a step further and try something that scares you, that you know you are going to suck at, but just try it. You don't need permission to fail. That's all part of the process. 
you learn so much more through your failures when it comes to art supplies than you ever will by sticking to the status quo. Period. End of story. It's just the way it is. Don't believe me? Well, try it for yourself. You little naysayer. Okay, that is going to do it for today. Just a quickie little pep talk to get you to do something creative today. Don't be a boring lump. Make something cool, funky, ugly, whatever it is. Just go create. Be bad. Be good. I don't give a damn which. Just make sure you come back in one piece and I will see you in the next one. And by the way, everything you need to know will always be down below. Links to the supplies, names of the supplies, my social media, my shops, all that good stuff. All right. Go do something. Go do something today. All right. I will see you in the next one.